it feels. Mm, so good. Oh, that, that it's kind of tingles. Oh, wait, the phone's tipped over. I gotta be able to see you. See? The exfoliator's pretty great, right? Ooh. It's no Wendy. Who's Wendy? Wendy is the facialist at this dingy little spa down at Westfield Shopping Centre. She's incredible. The place is Takarama and I can always hear the mothers yelling at their kids in the children's corner, but I love Wendy. I always walk out of there feeling like I've had the perfect night's sleep. Go Wendy! Is that the first thing you're going to do when we're allowed outside? I am going directly to Chinatown. Do not pass go. Do not give me $200. Just give me dumb things. You're not dying for a haircut like half of middle-aged America? <sighs> No, I don't get it. What's the thing with the haircuts? Privileged people problems. Maybe they should just buy a hat with all that privilege. What about you? What's the first thing you're gonna do when you're allowed out? Well, usually at this time of year I'd be hanging out in Golden Gate Park. Every summer there's this live music series and each Sunday local bands play. People just cop a squat on the grass and hang out into the night. That sounds pretty cool. You will love it. We'll pack a picnic with cheese and wine, and, and when the fog starts to roll in, we'll huddle in really tight under a tiny blanket. How do you always manage to make everything sound like a rom-com? Because that's the way it should be. I mean, honestly, who doesn't want to be the lead in their own romantic comedy? Time for Penn's Tylenol. She's been sleeping so much that if I don't call her, she won't take it. No improvement at all? Not really. She still hasn't been able to see her doctor? Just that one virtual visit. It's a fucking travesty. Don't get me started. Can I call you back in a bit? Okay. <laughs> It's time again. No. Oh. You know, Boo Boo, you got a, a little something all over your face. <laughs> she's making jokes. Does that mean she's feeling better? You have orange all over your face. If I wasn't making a joke, I'd probably be dead. That's not funny. It's a little funny. You should wash it off now, it's getting dry. So how are you feeling? I feel like there's an elephant on my chest and if she would just kindly get off I would be okay. Do you think you still have a fever? I'm freezing, so... Probably. <laughs> yeah, I just... I want to close my eyes again, but... Keep talking to me. I... I like... Hearing your voice. Oh. You know what I was thinking about? That trip to Sedona we took when we were kids. Mm, that was the best. Mom was so excited about getting our auras red. And do you remember that fudge? Mm -hmm. The fudge. We should plan a trip and meet at that fudge factory. You know, we could get our auras red again. It'll be great. to dominate this vertical mattress suture. How are you? 
Well, it's 11.30 on a Wednesday and I'm in a robe, so either I'm fantastic or I'm completely losing a grip on reality. Probably a little bit of both. What about work? I'm getting my work done in half the time I did in the actual office. I mean, this pandemic is going to force a business revolution. Eh, it's easy for me. I don't have a gaggle of kids that I'm trying to wrangle at the same time. How's stuff at the hospital? It's pretty quiet on the corona front. Only five cases in New South Wales today. I did see a nasty gallbladder infection, though. Ew. Only five new cases? There, there were 6,000 new cases in New York today. Hey, how's Joe's sister? From what I can tell, not great. She calls her every six hours to remind her to take paracetamol, and other than that, she's just sleeping. What has her doctor said? She hasn't been able to see her doctor since her initial video consult. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can, unfortunately. Hey, why didn't I give her a call? I put their minds at ease. Really? You wouldn't mind? Of course not. Especially seeing as she may be my sister-in-law very soon. Easy. It, did I tell you that she told me that she almost loves me? How do you almost love someone? No, wait. More importantly, how did you react? I mean, you know. Mouth looked like a fly trap? Pretty much. Did you say it back? What am I supposed to say back? I almost love you too? Or do you? I don't really have a barometer for this kind of thing. Ah. Are you doing that, that, that freak out thing that you do where you think you almost love her back and you're shitting yourself? No. No. No, I'm not. You're thinking about the old Debica. This relationship has brought on a whole new cool Debica. And the new Debica doesn't freak out about stuff like that. Huh, okay. New Debica? I have some words of wisdom for you. Wow. The new Denali is full of advice these days. You can lie to me, sis. Just don't lie to yourself. The new D is sitting in a tree. <laughs> hey, send me my future sister's chat profile, will ya? I'll call her. Later. <laughs> the last time she had a cold and just laid in bed, you know? She doesn't usually let stuff like this get in the way of her living. Yeah, but she's gonna heal faster because of it, hon. Yeah. So, this may or may not be weird, but Denali offered to give Penn a call. You know, kind of like a doctor's checkup. I know she's not her doctor, but maybe it'll give you guys some peace of mind? That would be amazing. At least she would know if there were any scary symptoms. Yeah, just shoot me a contact and I'll send it to Dee. Sent. Okay, sent. I feel like I'm being such a baby. You're not, but even if you were, you're allowed to be. I'm so exhausted. Why don't you go to sleep? It's getting late over there. Because I don't want to hang up the call. <laughs> I just wish we could sleep together. Wow, you know, that was a little out of left field, but I'll take it. You know what I mean. I just want to go to bed next to you and sleep next to you and wake up next to you. You know what? I have an idea. Why don't you just go to sleep? And I'll sit here and I'll read. We can be like an old married couple. And then when I'm tired, I'll go to sleep. So when you wake up in the morning, I'll be right beside you. Are you sure you don't have anything else to do? Have you seen the row? Okay. Good night. Sweet dreams, honey.